these are not pictures. These are TVs that show pictures and looks like they're using the liquid ink technology of sorts. <laughs> This is LCD, but this one, this one's just a picture. <laughs> okay, fold me. Yeah, very interesting LCD technology where it's, uh, looks like a picture. And it's got very wide angle view. So amazing. And this was a TCL presentation here with all kinds of different TVs and stuff. But interestingly, TCL makes all these kinds of phones which I have never seen sold anywhere nice and sleek but there is more interesting stuff where TCL makes phones for Blackberry also makes phone for Alcatel go figure that so now I know something I didn't know before and you do too here we have a Hello Kitty. Not too many people here, not crowded, because the stuff they sell is from last century. Very interesting record cleaner, a record player, a boombox. People don't even have cassettes. My kids don't know what this is and how it works. They know how phone works. But it's still nice to see all this stuff still somebody still manufactures it. I'm sure somebody would like that. There is a company called Royola with their flex screen technologies and they try to put this flex screen on everything. Enables users to and benefit from the amount of new and invasive products and We believe our technology will become the dominant But I think the coolest thing is this tree with all these flex screen leaves and the little fans that make those flat screens slightly wobble and cool. I guess they have to run cool. You can see them wobbling and cooling at the same time. There is the flex screen phone. Can I get some more for the phone? And I don't have any business cards. Oh, it's in here. So I want to thank Jerry Rig everything for showing that Royola flex phone how to take it apart
These are some other Kohl's things that they have. So, they got one thing and uh, they're running with it, the flex screen. Now we're gonna go to LG. This is a back way in, so we're gonna go the other way. LG has cool kitchen stuff and I don't know what this is. Oh, they they measure you? Nah, I don't want to get measured. The coolest thing at LG is this place here. It's LG Signature OLED R. These are flex screens. And these are really fun to watch. I don't know how fun they would be in your home. Uh, if somebody is watching a TV 24-7, why would you have a TV that folds in or scrolls in? But the bottom line is it's a flex screen and it allows you to do that. So when you have friends come over, you can brag about the TV going into a box. But after about 10 days when novelty fades out, the TV is going to be out of the box all the time. This is good for conference rooms, more than for home, I would think. But who knows? Still cool technology. The LG self-driving car. It's of course a concept, a prototype maybe. And it's not driving anywhere. They'll do a presentation saying how good it will work. I think I've seen this car from Bosch last year. So, don't know what this will do. Why would you need tools in your garage if this car, I don't think anybody could fix it. It's gonna be all proprietorized by the manufacturer and all the computers and everything's gonna be coded and locked. This is a lot of cool tech. This is traditional LCD design. That one right there. Got nothing behind it. This is the new OLED. Don't know what this is. Just a fancy display of processor. A9. I don't know if they're using Apple processor. Here's the TV, the new TV. But I don't think this is that new. They've been around for a while. Sorry. And I'm exiting through the entrance that is dramatic for LG. And this is what I'm seeing when I was coming in. Flex screens. between them seamless but they're not seamless just flexy
There is a main drag, the Panasonic, the CES, Samsung. There is a Samsung. Why is it so small? It's got to be a bigger Samsung display somewhere. Well, let's go look at Samsung. Galaxy Note Flex. I don't see the flex in it. Where is the flex? Show me the flex. It says flex. It's nice and thin, but I don't see flex. Look at this. Everybody is mimicking Apple with their tiny, tiny keys. So you can use it like a tablet like this. Well, let's go look for Flex. So, got an answer from the Samsung rep. This is just a prequel to the actual Samsung City, as they call it. So, we're heading to the Samsung City. I wonder what lingerie shows look like. Oh, here's the Bosch car. See? Looks exactly like the LG car. Or, to me at least. Still here. Still in a concept form. Lots of stranded, hungry, tired people. Brought in here by the companies they work for. Could care less about the technology. I shouldn't be saying that, but... FBI. They have technology. They look for everything we do. Or everything that we do, they know. I don't see NSA on here. That'd be cool to see what they know, see what they see. One thing that is in really short supply in this convention are the seats. You cannot find seats. Anywhere they can, all the seats are taken. Usually now it's about midday, about noon, and people are tired, lunching, and there is nowhere to park. Here it is, Samsung City. Not as dramatic as LG entrance. Let's see what they got. Boom. Low vibrations. Fights. Love it. Killings. TVs. Intelligent Robotics people how they would feel about it. Here is a sick person. Don't know what he does. I guess they work better on uh, healthy people that play sick than sick people that want to be healthy. I'll be honest, I think so far LG has outdone Samsung with their cooler stuff. I'm sure everything's cool here. And 
I have to look at all this, how repairable it all is. Let's go see the Galaxy Flex. Fold. There it is, Galaxy Fold 5G. Would they let us touch it? Oh, looks like they are. You gotta stand in line for it first. And what's crazy is it's still... There's something crazy. Now, is there, is there actually a separation or is it maybe? Oh, look at those guys here. Yeah, look, this is a polymer. This is made out of polymer, right? So it's running all over these bezels. So it's acting like a... It's acting almost like a screen protector in a way. But yeah, not the display is actually going to... I'm not saying that there is the entrance. Lots and lots of kids or people. No, it's mag yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually got the magnet. The lump there. When you close, those things don't really touch each other. Similar to yeah. Royola. They have to give it that um, not sharp crease in there. Right, it's not going to take it much more room. Like this is my note, right? My note is actually bigger than this one. Get rid of that thing. All right, I'm going to go. So it fits in the pocket. Really cool tech. <laughs> there is somebody talking about something. I can talk about something also. Let's see. We have Galaxy S10 Lite. And it is light. Bixby. I hate you, Bixby. Whatever. This is good. I don't see it being repairable. Oh, there is some cool tech right there. This is something. So if you look at it on the advertising things, you will see the front end of the screen, which is immersive. My head goes dizzy, but what you won't see is what it looks on the back. Interesting. I wonder how big the box is. It's a Samsung desktop PC. This is this looks repairable. Samsung hard drives, SSDs. Would be nice to know the size. Do you want to listen to the same music you were listening to before? One terabyte. Nothing amazing. Tiny external hard drives with something. I wonder what this is. Fingerprint sensor? What if it breaks? How are you gonna get your data back? 12 is what I have in my phone. Huh. This is LEDs in there are not syncing with my phone. Everybody's got a self-driving car. Of course. About 10 years they'll be all over the place. Here's a self-driving concept. We're going to talk about how Samsung is leveraging 5G with the power of vehicle to everything technology, which is CV2X technology, which means being able to participate from vehicle to vehicle, also from vehicle to pedestrian, which my guy 
Oh, a car without wheels. That would be cool. Lots of screens. I should have taken a picture of the Uber driver. Here, his car looked exactly like this. All these screens everywhere. Interesting. So he's going to go. I'm just curious. Is this really impressive to have more screens everywhere? The more screens, the better. I guess that's the name of the game. Ah, yeah. The more flex screens, the better. Gotcha. There is a Samsung kitchen, and of course screens everywhere. Okay. Really cool. Really cool. Those blue things on top, I thought they were just blue dots. They're blue screens. More screens. I wonder where is that Samsung TV that can be pieced together. You gotta see that. More screens. Beautiful. I don't see the screens that come together in pieces. Don't know, don't see it. Just more screens. Way to go, man. Wait a minute. So I guess this is the heat, but they don't have the individual pieces on this plate of what this is comprised from. together this big wall because this wall is put together from many many t little TVs and each TV could work by itself two together you can arrange it in any fashion that's what they're talking about and uh, the picture will adjust uh, by itself to display what it is that you're looking at No boundaries, endless possibilities, infinite price. Now we're gonna look at Sony. Let's see what Sony is all about. City. Uh, more screens. Don't see accent on flex screens. Sony likes the depth and the quality, I guess. And uh, thickness is not really a problem for Sony. It's probably heavy. Compared to Samsung and LG, this looks like last century. This is some cool tech here for recording stuff. 
traveling overkill for YouTube. By the way, I am using Galaxy Note 8 for recording most of my YouTube stuff. But this is Alpha with all kinds of bells and whistles. It's interesting that the actual camera is that tiny thing over here. And the actual recording surface is a tiny thing within a thing. And now the software can track our body movements. These guys love to play tennis. Two forest gumps. Here is a Sony wall. Not as bright as the Samsung wall. Not as dramatic of a sound as the Samsung wall. Let's see what else Sony got. In general, we have LG on top, Samsung second, Sony is the third. Here is a Canon. Let's go see what Canon's all about. So we have the camera, we have the camera body, we have the lens, we have the image sensor. I uh, have all the pieces like they were before. Yep. Look at them lenses. I wonder how much it costs to touch it and rub off some molecules. <laughs> the camera is so expensive that when you touch it, it actually loses price. Not as heavy as I thought. Let's go see what else. Impressive durability and reliability. Okay, I take that. Oh yeah. Take pictures, take pictures. A guy in shiny suit with wings. Sleeves that look like wings. By the way, I'm not being sarcastic, I'm just commenting what I see. And what I usually see is, I take this equipment, I take a screwdriver and I take it apart. I'm not a user of this equipment, I'm a repair guy of this equipment. So, uh, people who use the equipment and take beautiful pictures of guys with shiny sleeves, they see something else. Unfortunately, that's all I see. Back through Samsung. Keep going, keep cruising, keep cruising. Now we're gonna visit a Sharp. What I, what I really like is um, people that walk and fall into my shot and uh, I want to see people's faces. I honestly think that all this technology is nice, but looking at it from repairability standpoint, how are you going to fix that? And if it's a multi-cellular screen and one cell went out, just go buy a new cell, replace it, and now you get a different screen. Now, granted, your new cell 
is going to have a different tint on it. So, sharp. Here we go. Sharp has a lot of empty space. Let's see, they got candy. Don't want candy. I wish somebody had bottled water. So they have a kitchen that is completely ordinary. They have TVs and a goat's ass. Completely ordinary, nothing. Oh, see-through TV. Yep, I seen it three years ago. Very, very impressive. I don't know why I would need one at home. I guess I put it on a window so I can look at the window and TV at the same time. I have... Oh, it's not even a see-through, it's a projector. That's projecting image on a glass. Oh, that's cool. It's a one-way glass. That's what they're advertising. It's a one-way glass. You can look through it or... Yeah, that would, that's impressive. Nikon. Let's look at Nikon lenses. Look at them lenses. Feel the weight. Oh my god. This thing weighs 10 pounds. My phone is a couple ounces and I've been carrying it for quite a long time. My hand hurts like hell. They sometimes have people here also wearing nice sleeves. And you can also jump and they take picture of you. They don't have that anymore. You can take a picture of the guy taking pictures. I think I'm getting tired. I think my eyes are shutting down and I am not seeing things. There is a nice girl posing with everybody for pictures in semi transparent dress. There's another nice girl just posing with wings. And this is IBM. And just like IBM in real life, they got nothing. They just got name. It says IBM. Oh, here is something. Guys cooking dinner. That is IBM. And they're using Dell computers. And they're cooking food. I don't get it. I thought IBM is the technology company. I guess I was wrong. It's a food cooking company. I get it. You eat IBM now. Yeah, right? Yeah, let's do that. Okay? And then I'll finish up, okay? So now we're going to dress... Well, I'm certainly Just finished. Salad, okay? Yeah. Chipotle. Yeah. Chipotle. IBM. I don't get it. How are they connected? I'm missing something, definitely. Delta. Oh. Is this new flying devices? So this is what they're going to have instead of airplanes now. Holy crap. In about a thousand years you get strapped into one of these robot things and they'll just blast you off into another city with uh, parts of an airplane like a wing, wheel and part of an engine. Wow.
This is definitely impressive. Someday, someday. And what is this? Oh yeah. I don't know how Delta has anything to do with this. Aside from maybe they have the money. Titanium blades. Um, I don't know what's so unique about this. I'm sure every airplane has that. This is unique for the most part because it says Delta on it. I see, these are walking things. You get inside of it and you walk. So they're gonna get rid of the airplanes. They just strap this on your ass and you're gonna walk to another city. That's cool. And uh, you're gonna carry a bag with you. That scares me. I don't want to do that. Here is a cool thing. You can sit on it and write. I wonder how heavy it is. Can I feel the weight? No, oh, that's not bad. It's still like a good. Yeah, it's not light, but. It it depends on how far it goes. Okay, so it's like miles, right? You can go in a range of about 10 miles. 10 miles? Okay. It wouldn't make it to our hotel. It's more than 10 miles. Doesn't help. I'm not getting it. It says 50 pounds on there. I don't know if it really is 50 pounds, but I trust them. I'm a trusty guy. I trust Apple is making products that last forever and they never get viruses. Edison. Edison. They have speakers, lots and lots of speakers and shiny people with backpacks. And I'm sure you're gonna get in trouble by blasting music in a public place. And shiny women with lots and lots of speakers and more speakers. Good. So now I found a place to sit. And I can finish the presentation as well. behind me. It is an amazing Mecca of all kinds of mixes. Uh, Delta is nice with their tech. I don't know what that tech means with airplanes, but I guess today the industry is merged so much, like IBM is cooking salads, Delta is creating robots that can walk. Um, Interesting, interesting. Um, I'm gonna stick around for a little more and see what else is out here, but uh, I think this broadcast